Hello my dear students. So today we are going to discuss about the chapter number first of environmental studies that is super senses. So you have ever wondered what happens when your mom calls you for your favorite dinner? Well, the first thing is you feel really happy and then you hear your mother calling for dinner and then you can smell the food and then you can walk to the table where you see chair and serve food and you can also feel the food by touching it and finally you taste the delicious food mm. so how do we do all these things well we use something known as our senses so the first question that you, comes to your mind is what are senses where are they located how do they function so in this chapter we are going to discuss about it all senses are the natural powers that help us to receive the information of the world around us in this chapter we are going to learn about various topics like sense of touch, sense of hearing, sense of taste, sense of sight, sense of smell, animals need rest, communication in animal, conservation of animals and many other. So as we discussed about the senses, there are five senses. They are sense of smell, sense of sound, sense of sight, sense of taste, sense of touch these are the five human senses but do you think that animals must be having certain specific senses which help them to receive and collect the information so the answer is yes generally animals have even more sharp senses than us you would have seen that dogs have a tendency of sniffing here and there they keep on sniffing so their way of smelling is their way of identifying the things dogs can recognize you by your smell dogs have a very strong sense of smell and this ability helps them to locate food and other things they also you they are also used by the police for detecting bombs, drugs, and in various other rescue operations. So here you can see how the dogs are used. Different different types of dogs are used for this purpose. Have you ever dropped some food or sugar on the ground? If you notice, after a short period of time, ants will gather and they start moving in a line. So, how do they detect the food? Actually, the ants have long and thin antennae on the heads of ants, which helps them to smell. When an ant finds some food, it leaves a chemical trail on the ground that the other ants smell and follow to reach. Guard ants can recognize the other ants how the guard ants can find it out by the smell they can come to know whether the ant is of the same group or not so many a times you would have noticed that the mosquitoes keep on biting us even in the dark but the question is how do they find us Mosquitoes can find you by the smell of sole of your feet and heat of your body. Do you know that the silkworms even have a great ability to smell? Yes, a male silkworm can find the female silkworm from many many kilometers away by her smell. So, I am not kidding. Yes, they do possess the strong sense of smell. 
let's discuss about certain other animals who have those who have different types of senses so the next example is of a vulture a vulture has an amazing sense of sight vulture kite eagle can see approximately four to five times as far as we can see this capability makes them to see the smallest prey from a very long distance for example if a human is capable of seeing an object from two meters away a eagle can see it from eight meters away yes that's amazing yeah so so if we talk about owl owl is famous for its dim light vision Yes, I think many of you would have seen owl. They keep peeping during the night and unlike other birds, owl do not have eyes on its side. Owl has large eyes in front of its head. Just like humans, yes, this helps owls to estimate the distance between various objects and it also provides large surface area to collect the light. They can even rotate their neck up to 270 degrees. Whoa! So, like owl, there are many other birds like sparrow, parrot, pigeon, which have eyes on the sides of their head. Why do they have eyes on the sides? But the answer to this question is that the eyes on both the sides helps them to focus on each and everything around them. They can look on all the sides and that is why they keep on moving their neck very often because their eyes are fixed on their heads and as they cannot move their eyes that is why they keep on rotating their necks very often. So, you would be knowing about the cat family. Yes, so members of the cat family have very sharp eyesight. Like tiger can see six times better at night as compared to the humans. Oh god, they are really good at all of this. So, we will discuss about the next topic that is sense of hearing. Do you think that the size of the ear is related to the hearing capability? Yes, many of the animals like elephants, rabbits, they have large size ears as compared to the humans. This large size helps them to collect more amount of sound vibrations as compared to the other animals which have smaller ears. You would have seen this birdie. Hey birdie! So, this bird seems to have no ears, but they do have ears on the sides of their heads. Their ears are small holes which are covered with feathers. Here comes a tiger. Oh. So, a tiger's sense of hearing is also very very sharp. The tiger's can make the difference between the rustling of leaves and the sound of an animal. The ears of tigers can move in different different directions which helps them to catch sound from all around. Yes, even the tigers have a very good sense of touch. Including other big cats, they use their whiskers. Whiskers are the long moustache in front of their nose. These whiskers help them to sense the vibrations in the air so that they can feel their way in the dark. Whiskers help them to identify whether an enemy is there in the grass or not. Another example for sense of touch is snakes. Snakes also do not possess ears, but they can feel the vibrations on the ground. There are many other animals which use different senses. So, few of them are bees, butterflies, 
house flies which use their sense of taste so basically they have taste receptors on their feet and this taste receptors help them to identify the taste this is the reason why before laying eggs bees first taste the leaves with the help of their they are uh, roaming onto the leaves why because they come to know the taste of the leaves and they find if they find it suitable for their eggs so they lay their eggs onto 